This is largely based on a study that was published some years ago, 2003, and the title of the paper pretty much tells the story. Amphetamine or cocaine limits the ability of later experience to promote structural plasticity in the neocortex and nucleus accumbens. Neocortex is the outer shell of the brain, uh, more or less, and the nucleus accumbens is part of that mesolimbic uh, dopamine pathway for motivation, drive, and reinforcement. Neuroplasticity, of course, is the brain's ability to change in response to experience, and neuroplasticity is the basis of learning and memory and essentially remodeling of our neural circuitry in positive ways of all kinds. And this study was really one of the first to show that ingesting amphetamine and cocaine because of the high peak in dopamine that it creates and the low dopamine state, the baseline drop that it creates afterwards limits plasticity and learning subsequent to taking amphetamine and cocaine. This should serve as a serious cautionary note that Amphetamine and cocaine not only can cause a drop in baseline dopamine, but can actually put the brain into a state in which it cannot learn and modify itself to get better, at least for some period of time.